Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're one of my subscribers, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I created these super cute, trendy rhinestone jeans. So if you guys wanna see how I did it, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm just going to be showing you what I'll be using today. So I have a pair of shears, some E6000 glue, and diamond trim. So I like these shears because they're really, really sharp and I can cut in between the rhinestones without any issue. So if you can get your hands on these, I would definitely recommend it. Now as for my diamond trim, this is just some regular old diamond trim used for like, I'm guessing sewing or something like that um and i got these from amazon and i will be sure to leave the link in the description box and then lastly of course i had my e6000 glue you guys can see i had about five syringes you only would need three i definitely recommend pre-filling your e6000 glue because it makes your application so much easier so what i'm going to be doing is going around the seams of my jeans and that's what i'll be adding in my trim i think this is the easiest way because it makes sure that your lines are straight and it just complements the jean, but we will not be doing the inside because we don't wanna have any friction as we're walking. And then I'm also gonna do my pocket seams as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the um, side seams. And what I'm gonna be doing is just using my syringe to apply my E6000 to the seam. Now, because your seams are kind of risen from the rest of the jean, I recommend either putting the glue to the right or the left. I believe I did the left side. That way they could be more to the side of my jean and not on the front, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna be doing, like I said, is just beginning to squeeze that out and follow my seam. You really wanna take your time with this part. You don't wanna have glue all over your jeans. Just take your time and squeeze, squeeze it from your syringe. Um, the syringe makes it a lot easier. I cannot imagine doing this without the syringes. So what I did was once I had maybe three inches worth of glue applied, I will go ahead and grab my rhinestone trim and begin to press it onto the glue. So you really want to make sure that on either ends, your beginning and end, um, you want to make sure that it's very, very, very well glued down. You don't want that to move at all. So I'm just taking my time and continuing to apply glue and then apply the trim. So I like this method because the trim makes it really, really simple. Literally a baby could do it. So I'm just going back and forth between my glue and my trim until I am done with this seam. All right, so now that we are to the end of this seam, like I said, I make sure I apply a generous amount of glue because I don't want my rhinestones to begin to come up. So I like to kind of place my rhinestone trim and stretch it and then kind of move it around to make sure it's exactly where I want it. And then once it's in place, I'll go ahead and cut my trim. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start on my pockets. The pockets are probably, I'm not gonna say the easiest, but they're the quickest to do because it's not as much trim. So of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and line the trim with my E6000 glue. And of course, adding some extras on the beginning and end, and then taking my trim and applying it to that seam. So on the pockets, the only thing is you wanna make sure you take your time and really follow the trim around that curve just to make sure that it correctly follows the seam and you cannot see the seam underneath the rhinestone trim. So 
So now I'm gonna move on to my back pockets and I went ahead and sped up the footage because it's pretty much self-explanatory from this point. Um, for my pockets, all I did was do the outer trim. You could do the outer or the inner. I did the outer trim on my back pockets and I'm just gonna go in with my E6000 and my syringes and then place my trim. So this is really, really easy. I use rhinestone trim, simple rhinestone two millimeter trim. You can use any trim you want. You can use frames, you can use different types of rhinestones, um, different colors. There are so many different trims to choose from and it'll give you the same look. You can even choose something that's not a jewel at all. You can choose like feather trim. They have like Mongolian ostrich fan that's like really cute and fluffy. So there are a lot of different looks you can recreate just by using this same method. So now that my back pockets are done, here's what it looks like. However, I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz to mine. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit more detail. And I'm going to outline the, I don't know what scene this would be. This is, this is the scene that y'all see, okay? This diagonal scene. So I'm just, of course, applying my E6000 and then following up with my rhinestone trim. So comment down below if you guys are considering making these jeans. I really like to kind of be original with my style. So if that means sometimes I have to create my own clothing, then that's totally okay with me. So last but not least, I went back around to the front and I actually outlined my zipper. And that's just because, again, I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz. And this one, as you guys can see, I kind of had to take my time with because that curve there was pretty sharp. And I wanted my glue application to be very, very neat. Now, overall, even with taking my time and, you know, fixing up my trim and letting it dry in between um, the front and back side, I think this project maybe took me two hours. So if you guys are considering doing this project, I totally, totally recommend doing it. It doesn't take up a lot of time. I actually just sat down and did it while I was like watching TV. So this is something really, really easy you could do, especially while we're still kind of in quarantine. I definitely recommend trying this out and you're gonna be the only one with rhinestone jeans. So once I've allowed my jeans to dry for a few hours, this is what they turned out like. I absolutely love the way that they came out. They came out exactly the way that I envisioned them. And this is definitely something that I would do again. And yeah, I just wanted to come and show you guys what they look like on my body. And as you guys can see, they are super, super cute. So I love it because it just gives you a little bit of pizzazz on that ass. So if you guys are going to try out this tutorial, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys in the next video.